For more than 100 years, these two teams have taken the field with so much more than a win on the line. The UP is filled with historic rivalries, but none that feature two teams located just miles apart in two different states. Here's some of what makes Menominee versus Marinette truly unique. Um, you could have a really bad year, and if you beat Marinette, um, from an, you, 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 you salvage your year. Would you say that this is like the one game you all like kind of circling your calendar? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's, um, it's a game that everybody looks forward to around here. It actually means a lot around here too. So For Menominee senior Cooper Conway, there is one game above all others. It was the businesses would shut down. It was what you see on TV. When it was game day on Saturday, you couldn't go anywhere to get a bite to eat. I mean, every place was locked and everybody went to the M&M &M game. I mean, we're talking, you know, over 8,000 people at some games, you know, way back years ago. Obviously, we don't hit that much now. That'd be almost everyone in Menominee going to the football game. But it's just, it's a community event that people will, they remember. They live for this. You know, high school football in Menominee doesn't get any better than Friday night football, especially now with the M&M game. The Maroons and Marines have been going head-to-head -head since Grover Cleveland was president. This contest brings back generations to relive their glory days. Um, it, it's, it's quite a rivalry. You know, we have, we have dads and grandpas and great-grandfathers that played in the game, and their sons are playing now, and it's, it's a really nice uh, lineage there for us uh, within the communities. For players like Aiden Bell-Lyle, suiting up for his final m and game brought him full circle. Um, growing up, it's always been a big dream, you know, to play an M&M game from playing football on the sidelines, watching like people like Justin Blinsky, Nathan Noak, all those big names, playing kill a carrier um, just on the side of the football field watching them. Then uh, giving players high fives when they ran in for halftime and then it was pretty cool watching the little kids now giving me high five going into the locker room. After suffering a tough loss back in 2018, Belisle says he and the team were determined to not let it happen again. We lost two years ago, and then every day after weight training, we had a countdown up on the board in the weight room. And after every day of weight training, we went and ripped it down until it got to zero. And then that year, we went out and won by 40 plus. With Friday's win going back with the maroon and white, Menominee now leads the all-time game series 57 to 51 with seven ties. It was just I was very happy you know the team got the win it, that's really all that matters at that point the score doesn't matter anymore unless I mean you're up at the end so I was very happy about that. And the big one is this m and game and they're out there and the, they want to get the win they remember this they talk about this you know the rest of their lives when they win this when they win the M&M game, they call the Cedar Log. That's a trophy that goes back and forth between the schools. And they engrave the year and the team that won it. And so that log is placed in Menominee or Meredith's trophy case this year. It's going to be back in Menominee. When you walk into Menominee High School to go to the basketball game, it's right there. You can't miss it. And you always see people looking at the trophies. And they, they remember uh, their M&M game, especially their senior year. I mean, that's what it's all about. Um, these young players, uh, they never forget uh, what happened during the M&M game. Now, as of 1999, the Maroons have been a front runner, taking 19 out of the last 21 games played. If you want to know more about this rivalry, you can check out Josh Kellner's podcast, Maroon Way, on Spotify, specifically episode two. He interviews two Hall of Famers, one from each program, and they take a deep dive back into the history and traditions revolving around this historic rivalry. Coming up next on the Sports Zone, it's that time we've all been waiting for. We'll